Hi and welcome to Azam Sharp channel on YouTube. I'm your host Muhammad Azam. Now in this particular screencast, I'm going to show you that how you can post data to a server side SOI framework called Vapor. Now if you have not following the series on Vapor that I'm doing, I highly recommend that you check out the previous screencast uh, because each screencast is kind of like building on top of each other. Uh, so in the previous screencast, we learned that how to get data, how to get data using JSON, but we never really got into that how we can post data. Now posting is of course extremely important if you are building apps that is submitting data to your server, basically in this case, which is the uh, Swift server or the server running Swift. Um, and of course, you can think of countless number of examples if you have a user information form like sign up screen you want to post that data you want to send that data to your server so you can persist it you can save it in the database so anything you want to take from the user and persist in your own database it basically call you have to post it and that's what we're going to learn so just like drop dot get there is drop dot post all right um, so i'm just going to say uh, create so if I go to the URL create, uh, I can actually create something. Request in. Now the parameters that are passed to the request can be handled by request.data if you're sending the content uh, through the web page, like if you are filling out a form on a web page and doing a post. In this case, we are actually going to send in JSON data, all right? So I'm going to say data. Now, what are we sending? So let's say that I'm sending first name. So I can say request.json um, first name. That's the key that is being sent from, uh, from the actual application. If that is not found, uh, I'm going to say, actually, this is a guard. And I'm going to say over here, um, you know, required parameter first name not found and I'm just going to blow up the whole app all right uh, let's get the second one second one will be last name which is very similar to the first one that we did uh, and I'm just going to say last name and a string else if that is not found we can simply say all right you know what required uh, parameter last name not found you can think of it as if you are building some sort of a registration screen uh, from your iPhone for your iPhone, which basically requires the first name and the last name. Now let's go ahead and return. What I'm going to return is just the concatenation of these two things. So first name plus last name. Let's go ahead and uh, build this, compile it. And that's okay. Everything builds successfully. That's great. But we still need to check this. Like if I go to create and if I do a post and if I pass first name and last name, I should get a result back in JSON, which will be a concatenation between the first name and last name. So let's go ahead and run our server first. Uh, and then we'll find out that uh, if we can actually invoke it. Now, the best way to invoke this is since we are posting data, uh, if I go over here in Chrome and I post it, it's not going to work correctly. It's going to actually blow up, right? Because it does require these parameters to be passed. So you have to pass in the first name and last name. Now you can use Postman or you can use any kind of HTTP client. I am using a HTTP client. I'm sorry, uh, it's just create. So if I go to create, it might actually just say, you know, 404 not found. So I'm using HTTP client. This is called HTTP client and you can download it from the app store. Uh, the URL is the same URL with the create, just like the action name create. Uh, I'm posting it. The content type is very important. You have to tell what kind of content you're posting. Uh, first name Muhammad, and I think I have to pass in the last name also. So let's go ahead and do that. Last name, uh, Azam. Here we go. And let's go ahead and invoke that. And here we go. We got the concatenation of two strings. Now there is a little bit of a no gap between over here. So let's go ahead and fix that. So here we go. I'm just going to concatenate with a little bit of a space and uh, send it back. Let's go ahead and start the server again. And this time 
uh, when you invoke this, you will see that uh, it has updated with a space in between. There we go, we got a space. So you can, if you want to send, you can send these values as a body in JSON and get the result back. So this is pretty cool because if you are running your iPhone app, you want to post some data, you want to create a customer, your customer needs to save something, or your user needs to save something on the server, they can actually post data and uh, they can get access to this, all right? Now, of course, at this point, we're just getting these values out of the request and we're not really saving them. We're not really doing anything with them. We're simply concatenating them and returning them, uh, returning the values. But in the future tutorials, I'm going to show you that how you can save these values in an actual database. So that will be really, really exciting. So stay tuned. And if you, if you like these videos that I'm doing, please uh, go ahead and spread the word, uh, donate something because all of these uh, you know, videos are basically uh, available for free on YouTube. Uh, and you can, you can imagine, I mean, how much time and effort goes into each video, uh, you know, documenting, researching, creating videos, number of trials, editing, and so much things uh, that go into videos. So if you uh, are feeling generous, uh, your support, uh, your donations are uh, basically always appreciated. Uh, and that will keep the videos uh, going, that will keep the screencast and channel alive. Uh, thank you very much and um, stay tuned for more.